Hello, my beautiful Cancer Dragons. Welcome to your full moon reading for December the 18th. Now, the full moon is in Gemini. So what this full moon is going to be doing is it's overall going to be bringing in information that um, is otherwise unknown or unavailable to you at the moment. So it's going to be sort of sort of think about a full moon sort of shedding light on a path that you didn't know was there. So it's going to be opening up um, your mind or opportunities that you couldn't see before. And it's going to be inspiring. So it's going to be expi inspiring you to sort of learn and expand into the new. Now with this, Venus is going to be going conjunct to Pluto. That happens a few days after. This is major transformation in how we deal with all our relationships with other people, um, even with ourselves and with our relationship with money, our relationship with anything like that. So let's go ahead and One more card, please. One more card for cancer. There we go. Thank you. Sorry, guys. Okay, so one fell. So I'm going to grab it for you. So your hard work is paying off and the answers you need are coming. Now, this sort of works exactly with what we're talking about with the full moon. Okay, so and look at this. Look at this, guys. This is the full moon in Gemini. Woo, you guys got the card for the timing. So this the answers you need are coming. So whatever you've been waiting for is going to be coming to you. It could be through a dream. It could be through an actual physical human. It could be through scrolling and finding something um, on social media somewhere. But whatever it is, you're going to know it's going to sort of hit you and it's going to be this aha. It's going to be like, oh my gosh, I never knew that. I never thought about that. I never looked at it that way. It's going to be things that you didn't see, okay? Um, it was something that was unknown to you. Okay, but your hard work is paying off. Okay, so let's see. You might even know, not know that you didn't know. <laughs> Does that make sense? So let's go ahead and get some cards for you guys. Oh, I'll take that one. Cards for Cancer, please, for the full moon. No, <laughs> no, we aren't going to take that. Come on. There we go. Oh, you guys showed up in your own reading. I'm not going to take the big dump, but I will take the one that flipped over. Okay, one more. The cards are crazy for you guys. It's funny because after this one didn't want to pull anything, I was just sitting there going, come on, guys. Now, all of a sudden, everything's come out for you. So, this is the order that they came out. So, okay. So, we have the three of wands in reverse. So, yeah, you've had a lack of foresight, right? So, you haven't been able to see your long-term goals, right? You've had delays and setbacks. Things have been falling apart on you. Um, so, and I feel like you've been stopping, you had been stopping yourself from getting something to happen, right? Now, this is one card, because then we move into good cards. So this is sort of like a past, but it's still in the energy. You have the Ace of Swords, and this is about victory and breakthroughs, right? This is about mental clarity and truth. Um, it's that aha moment that I was talking about with this. So if you've been feeling a little bit stuck, Okay, this is if you open yourself up and you do the right work so that you're ready for these moments to happen. Um, and I just heard that you need to believe that they will happen. Um, I just heard that. So for some of you listening, um, that's it, you might have a hard time with belief. Okay, and I'm not saying you have to believe in whatever, Sky Daddy, whatever. Okay, but you do need to have the belief in yourself, in, in whatever it is, just in energy. Okay, energy's been proven scientifically, so it depends on how, right, your levels of whatever that is. 
but you just have to have the belief that this will happen, right? That the answers that you need are coming. It could happen in a dream. It could happen however, okay? So because then look at you have the moon and this is you guys. So this is, you have been working on healing um, and it's like sort of like this is the last little bit of healing that you need to go through. Um, and it could be that somebody had kept something from you or somebody kept you in the dark on purpose, okay? And it's it could be sneaky, right? So this person, and I think that you might actually be discovering exactly how dark this person has been with you because I don't think that it's expected. Now, something else that this could be if it isn't a person because it seems like a very sneaky thing is it's just that you're sort of um, becoming more aware to your feelings, right? So you may be working on developing more psychic ability, right? And you might be able to tune into other people's vibrations or auras or energy around you. And you're starting to see, like, as you take this in, like, you're just starting to really move, right? So I always talk about cancers. You guys are a water sign and you're very emotional. And I find that like you starting to connect very deeply is really starting to move you. So you're really releasing whatever had you stuck and you're having these big aha moments. Okay. Now you have the five of swords. The five of swords is, um, I feel like you, um, I think that once you've, you've learned how to combat too much, um, too many thoughts, I think that at one point you might have been all in your head and you've really gotten past that. Yeah, your Knight of Pentacles. So it's been a slow process, okay? But there is good news coming in. I'm not very fast, right? But I feel like this has been happening for a while, right? And... Um, and you need to keep working on your goals, and but it's about stability. So it isn't really about romance per se, but you've really been building and working on yourself. All right, really standing your ground and moving ahead very methodically, which is good. Your hard work is paying off. So let's see here. Yeah, you have the two of swords. You you don't see whatever this is coming, okay? You can't see whatever's coming for you. Um, no, I'm not gonna take those. Okay, so in the past here, so we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. What I'm hearing is it doesn't have to be love, but it is a very emotional relationship that um, didn't quite happen the way that you had hoped it to. Okay, so it could be a friendship, it could be um, a love relationship, but it didn't quite end up the way that you had wanted it to. Okay, your two of wands is in reverse, and this left you very confused. Okay, you couldn't make any decisions. It's like you were sort of like, um, I, I feel like you were very much, um, you didn't know how to move out of this, right? You didn't how, know how to even plan to get out of it because you just, it was very unfamiliar territory for you. You have your five of cups in reverse. I feel like you're moving on, okay? And that you've forgiven yourself and possibly the situation and that you're recovering, okay? And hope is returning. Um, but you're realizing that you do need to move on from this, okay? So you, you do need to move on from whatever this caused inside of you. Um, and I think that you might be seeing why this didn't develop the way that it did for whatever reason, but you're just, you're understanding your part in it and you're fixing your patterns so that you can move away from the pattern, from this, whatever this lesson was, right? You're, you're, you're moving on. Yeah, you're getting over heartbreak, okay? Um, the Three of Swords has come out a little bit sort of in a reverse thing. So I'm hearing that um, there might be an apology coming in or you might need to apologize depending on whatever happened here, okay? I am not getting a read on either party necessarily being wrong if it's to do with, you know, um, 
if it's to do with a relationship, and I don't mean really, like it could be a friendship, right? So just a friendship, but it was a very heart-based friendship. Um, but it's, it's also about recovering and, um, you're releasing the pain from it. And I think you're, you're really getting a lot of forgiveness. Okay. Um, I feel like you, you're, you're vowing that this is never going to happen again. Okay. You're accepting the truth. And so what this also is, is it's about not blaming anybody else right? It's, it's about everybody taking their own responsibility and moving on past it. Okay. So when the three of swords is in reverse, it's about you accepting your role in these situations and moving on from them. Okay. So it's not to keep pointing fingers. Okay. Oh, there's a card in here. That's, um, just a second. I love it when I see these. Hi. Okay. So strength is in, in the reverse. So, um, it's somebody, um, the situation temporarily took your power away or maybe not even temporarily, depending on how long the situation was, but it, it's, it's something that was new that didn't happen. So I'd say temporarily it took your power away. You have your three of pentacles and, um, I think that you're really starting to recognize for yourself, your own value your own worth. Okay. You're seeing, and, and once you start to pull that in, you exude it and you start attracting everybody else that suits that. I'm really heavily, I try never to say signs with cards because it's like, well, yes, whenever this card comes out, it is that sign, but it isn't always, but the strength card is a Leo. So it, it could have something to do with a Leo. Okay. But don't, if it isn't, don't worry about it. I'm just been heard. So for like maybe a very small percentage of you, you're dealing with a Leo in this situation. Okay. But it's, it's also reverse. So it was a Leo that was, um, that was taking your power away in this situation. Again, that's a very specific, um, pull. <sighs> Any other cards? And then I'm going to move to the healing cards. Yeah, look, now you're all good. And so, actually, okay, fine. Uh, just a second. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I flipped it the wrong way. So the Knight of Cups, yep. So you are embracing and becoming just a young version of who you should be, okay? The Knight of Cups is about romance charm. It's about having control over, but in a young way, it's about having control over your um, emotional intelligence. Okay. It's about, and I feel like you're gaining control over your emotions again, and you're starting to feel yourself again in a youthful way, which is a really nice energy to have. Okay. When you've been through something, guys, this is a very confusing reading. Now, remember, this doesn't have to be love, even though there are a lot of cards here that says love, but you know, I have friends that I love. I do. I have friends that I love. I've lost friends that I love very dearly. So yeah, cycles. Yeah. You guys are, are working on closing out a cycle here. Okay. And you do need to make sure. And I think that's where the whole apologies and, and stuff is coming in with the three of swords and verse, you not blaming other people, you not, um, it's about you only taking responsibility for what you did. Right. So instead of keeping saying, well, they did this, they did this. It's like, Oh, Okay, I allowed that, and yes, it's my hurt and my past injuries that allowed that in, but I'm not going to do that anymore, right? I'm making myself a priority, and I'm not going to do that anymore, and your hard work is paying off. Okay, guys, so that's it. Please do like and subscribe. I do appreciate your support for my channel, and I will see you in your next reading. Thank you so much.